So how do you perform SSR and SSG in your Next.js application? For server-side rendering in your Next.js application, if you're using the pages directory, then you need to use the get server-side props function. Otherwise, if you're using the app router, then you need to first create a server-side component and then set the cache option to no stop. This will indicate that data should not be cached. And for SSG in your Next.js application, if you're using the pages router, then you need to use the get static props or the get static paths for dynamic routes. And if you're using the app router, then you can use the fetch, which defaults to force cache, and this will cache the requested data. So which one should you use in your Next.js project? Well, you can actually use both of them. But if you're building dashboards, charts, personalized feeds, or fast changing content, then you need SSR. And if you're building for blogs, marketing pages, documentation pages, or where content is always stable and public, then you need SSG. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.